y'all. <clears throat> Welcome back to Nini's Texas Kitchen. This week we're going to make lemon layer cake with lemon frosting. So what you need to do first is prepare two eight or nine inch round cake pans. Um, I grease the bottom and then I put parchment paper in there. These ones happen to be nine inch but if you have eight that's fine. So the um, dry ingredients that you need for this cake you need two and one fourth cups of cake flour sifted. So I've already measured it and sifted it here. If you don't have cake flour, then you can use all purpose, but you need to use two and a half cups and make sure that you sift it really, really well. Um, then the other dry ingredients that you need are one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and I'm gonna add that to the flour. This is two different things. This is <clears throat> half of a, or one teaspoon of baking soda and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna add those in to the flour also. Now what I do is take a wire whisk and I just um, stir up the flour with the baking powder, baking soda and salt so that it's all mixed really well like that. That's all the wire whisk is for. Now the other ingredients that we need are we need two sticks of softened butter at room temperature. So I've got those, they're already soft. And I've got one and a half cups of sugar here, three whole eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, and then this is one cup of milk that I have added one fourth of a cup of lemon juice to. So this is our wet ingredients. So now what we need to do, oh, and we're also gonna need to add about two tablespoons or so of lemon zest. So I had um, a couple of lemons and I was able to get plenty of zest off of them. They were pretty big lemons. And then I've got another tablespoon of the zest over there that will go on our frosting later. And then I also have some um, yellow food coloring that, I mean, it looks orange, but it's actually yellow. And I'm just gonna add a couple of drops to my cake mix once I get it mixed up, just to give it a more yellowy color to it. So first thing I'm gonna do is start uh, creaming my butter. I want it to be creamed really well. Our oven has just finished preheating to 350 degrees. And for eight inch cake, cake uh, round cakes, you're gonna want to cook it for about 35 to 40 minutes or so until it's um, a toothpick or something comes out clean. Um, for the nine inch ones, try 30, and then you can go up to 40 if you need to. But now that I've creamed my butter, I'm gonna add in my one and a half cups of sugar, like so. I'm just gonna get that combined really well. Now I'm gonna add in my eggs and try to do one at a time. I'm gonna over over add too quickly if you want it to mix well together. Now remember, this is two and a fourth cups of cake flour with one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to add in about half or so, and I'm going to add in a little bit of my milk lemon juice mixture. And yes, it's supposed to look curdly like that. some more 
more of the milk lemon juice mixture. to take a scraper and scrape around the edges of your bowl to get all your dry ingredients that's stuck on there. And then just wipe it off on your beaters. And now we will add in our lemon zest. It's about two tablespoons to two and a half tablespoons of the lemon zest. I'm going to get it all in there. I want it to be very lemony. And as you can see, the cake is just sort mixes sort of um, just a typical color that you would see for any cake batter. So I want it to be more yellow. So I'm just going to put about four or five drops of this lemon, ex, uh, lemon, uh, I mean yellow colored food coloring in there to help give it a more yellowy color. again and we're going to put it evenly in the two cake pans. There's one. Shake it around a little to get it all even. And now we'll do the other one. even. I'm going to shake this one around. Get it all spread out. All right. Now we'll go in the oven. just because I like to make sure I check it a little bit early in case it's cooking faster than what I'm expecting it to. So we'll be back in just a few minutes and show you the results. All right, y'all. <clears throat> Our cakes are out and they've cooled. And like I thought, because I used nine inch pans, it ended up only taking 25 minutes for them to bake. 
So now I'm gonna make the frosting now that I've cooled them down. So what you need for this frosting is one package of softened cream cheese, an eight ounce package, and then one stick of butter softened. You need about one tablespoon of lemon zest, and you need about two tablespoons to a quarter of a cup of lemon juice, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I've got four cups of, or really three and a half cups of sifted powdered sugar here. And if I need a little bit more, I'll add a little bit more, but we're gonna start out with about three and a half cups of sifted powdered sugar for this. So now the first thing you're gonna do is take your butter and cream cheese and cream that together. You wanna get it combined well. Now, I'm gonna add in my powdered sugar. And my vanilla. And just a little bit of the lemon juice to start. Like maybe one, one and a half tablespoons to start. Now I did sift my powdered sugar. It just um, makes sure that way that you don't have any lumps or anything in it which is good because you don't want it to be lumpy. <clears throat> and with a little bit of moisture, it will start coming together, but you don't want it too thick. And so this is kind of thick, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of my lemon juice, maybe like another half a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna turn up my beater to get it all mixed well. I'm going to add in my zest. And you want to beat this really well to disperse your lemon zest throughout the frosting adequately. off your beaters you don't want to waste any <clears throat> all right now I have a palette knife and I'm going to frost the bottom one and then I will frost put the other one on and frost that so I'm just gonna take some of it here put it in the middle like so and then just spread that out evenly across the cake. And if you want to pipe it, you can. <clears throat> this is just a cake for us to have at home, so I'm not trying to make it fancy and everything. Just something yummy to snack on. Take our other one, <clears throat> place it on top, like so. <clears throat> All right, now we'll take some more frosting and put on top. save the rest for the sides. And if you are going to pipe it, then I would suggest making a larger amount of frosting. So like maybe another stick of butter and, and adding, you know, like six cups of sifted powder sugar. But I'm not trying to pipe it, so I'm not worried about getting extra <clears throat> today. So then you just want to take it along the sides. So I like to put it on the top and then go around the sides with it after that.
And it's going to be sweet, so you don't have to cover every single piece unless you just want to. Every single area, every square inch doesn't have to be completely smothered. All right, so I'm going to finish icing this, and then we'll come back and show you the rest of it in a slice. All right, y'all, our lemon cake is done, and it's been completely frosted. So now we're going to cut into it and get a slice and see what we think. Oh, it looks good. All right. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Very moist, very lemony, and sweet. So, if you like my video making homemade lemon cake, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Go back and watch some of my other videos. Share it with others. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you all next time in Nini's Texas Kitchen.